Hi everyone, the day has finally come. I'm here with my first applique video in a really long time. This is my willow dress and all of these pieces are cut work. Uh, this is a white dress with clear sequins and white pearl beads. There are some different shapes you can see right there those are the rice beads I call them I think that's the correct name for them so what you're looking at right here is hem and I have managed to lose all oh I don't know eight of my tape measures so I can't give you exact measurements but I'm thinking from there to there's about four inches here to here's about three inches um, I have eight yards of this hem, two dollars per yard. I am going to show you a little bit more detail here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more if I can. There we go. So there's, as you can see, there's the beads and there are sequins on there. Give it a second to... Okay, it's not going to. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's not going to um, focus that far that close in but there you go you can see there's some sequins now it's not all perfect I will tell you there are some beads and sequins missing as is usually the case on these gowns but it's in really good shape let me zoom out some more there are some pieces of it that have got a bit folded over as you'll see as I sort of zoom out there um, you can see it sort of gets narrower up there and that's why it's just because it's a bit folded over up there but I don't have a steamer to work on it, and you really have to steam it. You cannot iron it, okay? Um, there's one stain I found on it. I washed, I actually washed this, and I found one remaining stain on it, so it's possible if you get a yard that it may end up being in two pieces, okay? So again, I have eight yards available of the hem, $2 per yard. Next, what you're seeing right here, are the large appliques. This is the only type I have actually except well there's kind of two types but they're the same thing and that will make more sense in a minute. So these are about 10 inches long and that's one right there and then this is another one right here and what it is is that some of them are going to come with the top part of the small flower unattached like that well, some of them will come with the top flower attached, as you see up there. And now I will bring it up, and I'm actually going to use my hand to show you the close-up on this. So, really pretty. Lots of sequins here in the center, as you can see. More sequins there. Super, super pretty. I have been cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you how many hours I have spent cutting these um, appliques, guys, and the hem. And I still haven't finished. <laughs> it's been hours and hours and hours. Anyway, I have 28 of these available. And I am asking $175 each for these. Now, bear with me a second. I am going to put my hand over the lens while I move my camera. So I don't make you guys sick. Get view of my ring there, apparently. Okay, so what we have here is a double inset. This is super fancy. Now, okay, I'm going to zoom in. I will tell you that from there, wait, there to there, I'm guessing is about 10 inches. That looks about right. This is, I have two pieces available. You will get at least one of these satin flowers on a piece. Each piece is one and a half yards long. But let me zoom in and show you some detail here. This is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, it's like getting two pieces of hem, but this is much, much deeper and more detailed than, well, not more detailed, but much deeper than the hem that I am selling separately. So that's what that looks like. So you get two times that, and then you get one and a half yards of that. So it's like getting three yards of really deep hem. So, um... I am selling each piece for $12. I figured basically it was worth $4 per yard for this, um, given the um, intricacy and depth of it and the sequence. So, two pieces, one and a half yards each, $4. If you're interested in any of these pieces, uh, you can either let me know below or send me an email. My email address will be in the description bar. Please 
Note that even if you think you are the first person that asks for something, you may not be um, because I do get requests both ways, both via email and on this forum. And I also sometimes get private messages on YouTube, which you guys can't see. OK, so just just bear that in mind, because sometimes people get a little upset about that. So thanks for watching and hope to be back with another gown soon. That one I showed you the preview of. I'm uh, going to start working on that today. Bye.